Hey guys, this is Steve Huff from stevehuffphoto.com. I'm here today to look at a couple of new straps from Monarch Straps. This is the BOA. Now these were sent to me maybe a few months ago and I have not reviewed them yet because when I opened them I originally thought, well let's take a look and see, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this is the inside of the can. Uh, this is the BOA strap, again, from monarchstraps.com. Looks really cool. There's different colors. But when I took it out of the can, for me, I like straps that go across the body. Um, that way, it's not around your neck and hurting your neck. And it's not around your shoulder where it's going to fall off and um, not work for you. So the short ones are not my kind of strap. As you can see, uh, they look very nice. They're almost like rope-like, but they're, they're not hard, but they're not overly soft. They have some really cool detail as well with the uh, leather ends. Very well-made straps, probably some of the best, coolest made straps I've come across, and I've come across a ton of them. So I, you know, Monarch messaged me and said, well, what did you think of the straps? And I said, well, they're a little short for my tastes. So what did they do? They sent me some longer ones, and check this out. I have one on my Olympus EM1 Mark II, and um, it's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous strap. Uh, this one is like a cream or white color. I've only used it for a couple weeks now, and so far there's no issues, no problems. I remember one time I put an Artisan and Artist silk strap on my camera, and within three days it was already fraying everywhere, and those straps are not cheap. So this strap from monarchstraps.com, the BOA, you can go check it out at their website. They have multiple colors, they're affordable, they're well made, and they look fantastic. I don't know, hopefully you can see. I'm shooting this with a Sony A9 and um, with a 28 f2 lens. But this uh, strap is really, really, really nice. Now, if you look at it, you can see that it's fairly thick, so it's not going to be thin. Sometimes thin straps will dig into your shoulder even if you're wearing it across the body. But I'll show you what this looks like with me wearing it because it is um, very, very cool. It looks great. And another strap that I love, I have right here somewhere with me or where I can get it over here. I also have on a Sony a7R2 a rock and roll strap from Tie Her Up Straps. Now this strap was originally meant for Leica cameras. You can see the little red section there that uh, signifies the red dot, the, you know, the red Leica logo. But this is, this is more of a, le this is leather. It's stretchy, so it kind of gives when you're wearing it. When you're walking, you can feel it give a little bit, so that aids in the comfort. So I love uh, tire up straps. I love the rock and roll strap. But in comparison, let me hold up both of them. You can see, you know, you have black leather and you have this is a white or cream colored rope style strap. Now which one you like will depend on you, but um, the way I wear them is like this. It kind of sits around, I can pull it up and shoot uh, at a moment's notice. And this strap slides really well. Sometimes when you have leather straps, they don't slide easily. Sometimes they get stuck, especially if it's a hot day and it's stretched out and you're sweaty. Uh, you might have to lift it up off of you. This one actually slides really well, so when you bring up the camera, it's right there. So I just wanted to share that with you guys, monarchstraps.com. Uh, their straps are lovely. Be sure to check them out. This is the BOA, and this is the longer one they sent. As far as size, I don't know. Um, they just said, well, we'll send you some longer ones, but they're perfect. Uh, I'm 5'10", and this size works out great. If you like the shorter size, you can go with the shorter straps as well, but they're very well made, they feel great, they are very handsome, they're very nice to look at, um, and they're affordable, so what else could you ask for? And in case you're wondering, I'm wearing a t-shirt from Beers and Camera. Check them out on Instagram, Beers and Camera. They're based out of San Diego, and they do meetups at breweries and pubs. You bring your camera along, take some pictures, it's a lot of fun. I went to only one of their events when they were starting up in Tucson and nobody was there, but in San Diego, if you're around that area, they have huge crowds and their Instagram channel is a lot of fun. 
You can also see me on Instagram at Steve Huff Photos. And until next time, I will see you again and have a great weekend. It's a lovely Friday. Uh, love to all. Thank you all for following me over at stevehuffphoto.com for the last nine years. Amazing, amazing. I can't believe it. Waking up every day and doing what I love to do. So my love to you. Thank you all. If you like this video, even though it's short and quick and to the point, thumbs up and subscribe. Many more videos on the way, including an update on the Olympus EM-1 Mark II, um, which is, I'm gonna have a lot of fun shooting over the next two weeks. And this is it with the eight millimeter fisheye. Uh, the EM-1 Mark II feels so good in the hand. Um, the design and ergonomics are just about perfect for my hand anyway. Um, lovely camera, so look for an update on that soon. And many more, there's a new bag review coming. There are some new lens reviews coming. Uh, and some other surprises, so be sure to check back to stefafoto.com each and every day. And thank you all. See you next time.